getting harder and harder to just be a casual fan of the 1975. You can't just now say, like, oh yeah, I, I like the 1975. I enjoyed being funny in a foreign language. I like it when you sleep. One of my favorite albums of all time. Because it always begs the follow-up question. But what about Matty Healy? I've been tossing around the idea of making a dedicated video on this guy, maybe like a problems I have with Matty Healy or the 1975. And if you still wanna see that, let me know in the comments. But today we're talking about his most recent actions that have gotten him banned from an entire country and shut down an entire festival. Give me a second to cool down, I could feel the heat from that kiss all the way in the USA. For those not in the know, the 1975 had a scheduled performance at Good Vibes Fest in Malaysia. And Malaysia is unfortunately one of the countries where homosexuality, anything that's not straight people doing it, that's illegal. And obviously, I think this is horrendous. It's something that needs to be uprooted at a governmental level. But are the 1975 the ones to come in and undo the action and law of an entire country? No. Now, I made a mistake. When we were booking shows, I wasn't looking into it. And then, I don't see the fucking point, right? I do not see the point of inviting the 1975 to a country and then telling us who we can have sex with. The 1975 frontman is clearly nursing a bottle of wine as he routinely does on stage, smoking, talking offhandedly about things that he's seen online about him that he doesn't like. But the problem this time is that he's not just talking about TikTok and what people are complaining about in the comments section. He's throwing an entire population of people from Malaysia that came to see him and knowing what his comments were going to do, he knew, he even says in the speech that it's going to get him banned, but he says everything anyways because guess what? You can just hop on the PJ and get out of there afterwards and everyone else is left to deal with the ramifications and the consequence. I'm sorry if that offends you and you're religious and it's part of your fucking government. But your government are a bunch of fucking retards. The consequence here was a strict ruling from the Malaysian government that basically put it so that the entire festival, Good Vibes Fest, was cancelled. No one really knows. It was an iron fist striking down the hammer and ruling and saying, this is the law here, and because you spoke against the government, because you kissed your bandmate on stage, we're shutting the whole thing down. Matty Healy and bassist Ross McDonald making out while somebody noodles on a piano in the background. If that's not the most 1975 shit that I've ever seen, I, I don't know what is. Unfortunately, you don't get a set of loads of uplifting songs because I'm fucking furious. And that's not fair on you. Because you're not representative of your government. Maddie is obviously justified in his anger, and I agree with the sentiment against the Malaysian government, and even with the idea that he puts out there that it's not the fans' fault, we still wanted to come here and do this show, but he immediately undermines that by using one, the hard R for that word. He also undermines his speech by going into personal details and then trying to find a way to tie it back to the idea of the Malaysian government overstepping. And what do you know, the plug gets pulled on the concert and then shortly after the entire festival implodes. I've done this before. I've gone to a country where it's an fucking, I don't know what it fucking is, Ridiculous. The government over there and even certain fans have called this rude and extremely irresponsible. And I do think that it is those things, but not for the reasoning that they're giving. But the 1975 have a spotty history with bringing people, fans, up on stage and Maddie kissing them. And it just... 
It quite literally leaves a bad taste in my mouth because it's gone too far, and here it feels like it's being used as some sort of political lever that they're trying to pull desperately. They get to do all of this stuff without really the fear of repercussions. Like, if a typical citizen of Malaysia got up there on stage and kissed someone of the same sex, they would most likely be put in prison. And Matty Healy, again, is just gonna book it out of there with the rest of the guys, and maybe they will face some sanctions down the line, or somebody will try and hold them accountable, but it seems like they're just gonna be banned from playing festivals, banned from coming into the country, and that's no skin off of their back because they said what they wanted to, they looked good to the people that they wanted to look good to by giving that speech and giving the kiss, and then they move on to the next chapter of whatever the hell Maddie's gonna stir the pot with next. I'm so fucking tired of seeing Maddie Healy's name in the headlines. The 1975 have a huge problem, and its name is right there staring them back in the eyes because it's your frontman of the past 20 plus years since this band formed. Does the music justify the ends to the means for having to go to bat and try to find ways to worm around his actions to defend them or let yourself off the hook? I mean, I get it. I like it when you sleep. One of my favorite albums of the 2010s. But at the end of the day, I can't just sit back and be like, well, that's just Matty Healy doing Matty Healy stuff because the things that he's doing, the actions that he's taking part in, have consequences, and they're affecting other people. The 1975 stands are just gonna be like, oh my god, he ate, or that's just Matty, or he went off, he did absolutely what needed to be done, not realizing that that's not how it works, and that the government isn't going to change their positioning just because Matty gave a empowering speech. Because you are young people, and I'm sure a lot of you are gay, and progressive. <laughs> So I pulled the show yesterday. I pulled this show yesterday and we had a conversation. We said, you know what? We can't let the kids down because they're not the government. The loser of this situation, however, is not the 1975. It's not Matty Healy because they've proved time and time again that somehow it feels like they're bulletproof when it comes to cancel culture. You have tons of people screaming out against them, but somehow Matty Healy was apparently dating Taylor Swift this year, one of the most progressive pop stars? Or is she? Yeah. The real losers here are the fans and the other artists that flew out to Malaysia to play this festival and all of the people that bought tickets. I sincerely hope that everybody is able to get a refund, get their money back, because I can't imagine like going, you show up for what, like the first or second day of the festival, and then they're like, oh yeah, the government pulled the plug on everything. Go home, no refund for you. It's a really tough, frustrating situation, and I do feel for the fans. I wanna know what you guys are thinking. Tell me down in the comments and let me know if you do want to see that full video on problems I have with Maddie Healy in the 1975. Hit that like button if you're feeling up to it. Subscribe for the love of music. Check out more of my 1975 content on screen and I'll see you soon on Beyond AR TV.